Hey everyone, let's talk about getters and setters. Getters and setters are used within this concept of abstraction, where we hide any unnecessary data from outside of a class. Getters are functions that make a private attribute readable. Setters are functions that make a private attribute writable. Here's an example. I'm going to create a stove object. Class stove. Then I will instantiate a stove object. Stove, stove. In previous topics, when we created attributes, we would use the public access specifier, then write any attributes. In this example, let's say int temperature. I'll go ahead and set this to zero right away. Since this attribute temperature is public, it's accessible from outside of the class. That means that people can change it. For example, I will take my stove object, set the temperature attribute to a really high setting that doesn't exist, like a million. This is fine. Then I can display the temperature. Standard output, the temperature setting is stove.temperature. The temperature setting is 1 million. I don't want people to mess with my temperature attribute. What I could do instead is set these attributes to be private. We're following that rule of abstraction. We're hiding any unnecessary data from a user that they don't need. We no longer have access to this temperature attribute from outside of the class. You can see we have some red underlines. Temperature is private within this context. This is a hidden attribute from the outside world. If I need access to the value found within this temperature, I can write a getter. It's a function that will make an attribute readable. I'll add a public access specifier, then write a getter. We're returning an integer. I'll write get, then the attribute name. Temperature. All I'm gonna do is return our temperature. I can no longer update or change the temperature. It's readable but not writable, so I'm going to turn this line into a comment. In place of accessing this attribute directly, I'm going to invoke the getTemperature method. Stove.getTemperature, add a set of parentheses. Now the current temperature setting is set to zero. Adding a getter will make an attribute readable. If you need a private attribute to also be writable, you can add a setter. Void set temperature. This arrow temperature equals our temperature that we pass in. Then we just need a parameter. Int temperature. In order for a user to change the temperature, they would need to invoke the set temperature method. Then they can pass in a new temperature. Using this setter, they can still set the temperature to whatever they want, like a million in the previous example. The temperature setting is set to one million. Within a setter, we can add some additional logic or checks. Before we do set the temperature, let's check to see what the temperature is. If the temperature the user passes in is less than zero, we will set this temperature to be zero. Else if the temperature is greater than or equal to 10, suppose this is a knob with different settings, the number zero through 10, this temperature equals 10. In case they type in a million, it'll just max out at 10. Else, this temperature equals temperature. I could attempt to set the temperature to a million, but it would just max out at 10. Or we could try a negative number like negative three. Well, now the temperature setting is set to zero as if the stove was off or anything in between, maybe five, something right in the middle. The temperature setting is five. So yeah, that's kind of the purpose of getters and setters. They make a private attribute either readable or writable, or both if you use both. 
One additional step you can take too is that if you have a constructor, you can invoke the setters within a constructor. Within my stove class, I have a constructor. If we were to receive a temperature, we could set the temperature right away. So we already have this line of code within our setter, so we don't necessarily need this line again. We would instead invoke the setter. Set temperature, pass in our temperature. Then if I was to instantiate a stove object, I would have to pass in a temperature. I'll set it to be zero. And this temperature setting is set to zero. So yeah, those are getters and setters, everybody. A getter makes a private attribute readable. A setter makes a private attribute writable. Within the getters and setters, you can perform additional checks or logic, which is pretty nice. If you're looking for some additional practice, post a class that has a getter and setter in the comments section down below. And well, yeah, those are getters and setters in C++.